So these guys have experienced the first bit of rain. Yeah, th these girls don't seem so keen on this new food. I've got some traditional stuff that's got molasses and stuff in, um, but they don't seem as keen as the other stuff. So I uh, was learning what, what they like, so I've got to get some other stuff. But yeah, they're all happy and healthy. Um, I'll be honest, I've had a, a, another bit of a lazy day. I'm going around to Sam's in a bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm just helping Reese out with a bit of wood that he's bought. He's had Paul and his daughter down playing in the forest school area, which is nice. And yeah, just uh, yeah, going to play with some wood and keep around these little babies. So I've just come down to the, uh, the uh, veggie beddy area, the wheelbarrow that holds water, which is surprising here. And basically, I'd say we've roughly had about half an inch of rain. And just to see if it's been any use, I've uh, sort of dug a little pit, see how far it's penetrated, and it's wet all the way down. So yeah. I know it sounds strange, but I'm sure rainwater actually penetrates the ground better than tap water. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it just seems to work. So these big holes made by pigs to make use as uh, wallows in times gone by, and now little lamb holes for them to shelter out of the wind. The oak they seem to have made this a little bed, so I might go and get them a little bit, bit of bedding. So I've just been around with the hoe to go and check and everything. Like, look, potatoes there doing really well, although that one on the end has been a little bit trampled when I've been doing the uh, peas. But yeah, you can see all the other bits of green in there. They're all just thistles that are coming up. It's an absolute nightmare. I keep going around with the hoe knocking them down, but oh, it's, gonna, it's, it's an ongoing battle to say the least. So that's day 56. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest, I've had a little bit of a, a lazy day today. I've not got a drastic amount done because uh, I've kind of realised I've got no body fat left on me whatsoever. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to try and take it a little bit easier and eat a shed load more because at the end of the day, I can't really be doing all of what I'm doing without any energy in my system at all. Which kind of explains why I've been hitting the wall a bit recently and everything like that. So eat more and do a bit less for a few days just to sort of let my body re recharge. I uh, went around to Sam's tonight. It was really good to have a good catch up and have a look at the garden. And yeah, there's quite a lot to be done there. But the landscape says he will be back. Uh, so hopefully he will be and she can get on and get it sorted. But if not, I'm going to get it sorted. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it for today. Uh, it was good actually taking Brownie, uh, not Brownie, Sandy. He's called Sandy. Everyone, Sandy. Uh taking Sandy for a walk around the field and you know he tried to get frisky a couple of times but just held him and controlled him so he, he, he knew who was in charge and he, he was he was all right by the end of it I'm on a full full rain and everything so yeah it was really good uh so he's not as much of a pain as I thought you never know I might not get in a soft spot for him uh but yeah what is it tomorrow um somebody who's coming up oh we've got the family from Wharton coming up again tomorrow uh, and they're going to make use of the area, which will be good. And I think that's it. As I say, I'm going to try and have a bit more of a chill time. And, but let's face it, the animals will end up doing something. Something will end up happening and they'll end up being busy. But yeah, let's see what Day 57 has got to offer.